Hello students, I am Dr. R. K. Kaul and today we will be talking about origin and evolution of the earth. Now, in this we will be talking about the early theories which are there about the origin of the earth, the new version what is now considered most widely as the reasons or the theory for the origin of the earth. We will be also talking about the big bang theory and we will be also talking about our own solar system and the evolution of the earth. Now, so far as the origin of the earth is concerned, the earliest theories which have been considered about the origin of the earth is the nebular hypothesis. This hypothesis was forwarded by, uh, postulated by uh, Immanuel Kant and uh, it was later revised by Laplace in 1796. This hypothesis considers the planets were formed out of a nebula, a cloud of materials associated with a youthful sun which was slowly rotating and later on Chamberlain and Moulton also considered that a wandering star approached the sun. And as a result, a cigar shaped extension of the material was separated from the surface. As the passing star moved away, the material separated from the solar surface and continued to revolve around the sun and it slowly condensed into planets. The modern theories about the origin of the earth are most convincing among them is the Big Bang Theory and it is also known as the expanding universe hypothesis. In the Big Bang Theory, the three main stages which are considered in the evolution of the universe as such because this theory is by far not only concentrating upon the origin of the earth, it is in fact addressing to the whole concern of the origin and evolution of the universe as such. It considers that uh, all matter forming the universe was initially forming a tiny ball, a singular atom with an unimaginably small volume in finite temperature and of infinite density. Within 300,000 years from the Big Bang, temperature dropped to almost 4,500 Kelvin and gave rise to atomic matter. The universe became transparent. Now, these stages in the Big Bang theory talk about the formation of the universe as a whole and they do not give any specific example of only the formation of the earth as such. This also talks about the formation of the star uh, that is the formation of the present remnant that is the sun itself. The distribution of matter and energy was uh, not even in the early universe. Let us have a look at what uh, was the stages in the formation of the planets. In the first stage, stars are localized lumps of gas with a nebula. The gravitational force within the lumps leads to the formation of a core to the gas cloud and a huge rotating disk of gas and dust develops around the gas core. In the next stage, the gas cloud starts getting condensed and the matter around the core develops into small rounded objects. These small rounded objects by the process of cohesion and develop into what is called as planetesimals. Larger bodies start forming by collision and gravitational attraction causes the materials to stick together. And in the final stage, these large number of small planetesimals create to form a few larger bodies in the form of planets. Now, let us have a look at the formation of the solar system. The nebula from which our solar system is supposed to have been formed started its collapse and co-formation sometime 5 to 5.6 billion years ago and the planets were formed about 4.6 billion years ago. 
When we talk about our solar system, it, what it consists of, it consists of the sun, the star about which we talked about just now, the eight planets, almost 63 moons, millions of small bodies like asteroids and comets and huge quantity of dust, grains and gases and when we talk about planets which were formed about some 4.6 billion years ago. Now have a look at this uh, geological time scale with respect to formation of different uh, aspects in the universe. When we talk about the origin of the stars, it happened from 13,700 million years to 5,000 million years. Origin of the sun is itself 5,000 million years. Now, then thereafter, we can also talk about formation of the atmosphere and rich in carbon dioxide, the oceans and continents 3,800 to 4,800 million years ago. We can also talk about the first reptiles 286 to 360 million years ago. We can also talk about the dinosaurs age 144 to 208 million years ago. And modern man, if you see in the geological time scale, it is 0 to 10,000 years before present. This is a very recent happening with respect to geological time scale. Now, when we talk about our solar system, we have two main things also to discuss here about the solar system. Those stars which lie inside the ring up to the belt of asteroids are known as inner planets and those beyond that are known as terrestrial planets. These are also known as the four, the rest of the four beyond asteroids are also known as Jovian planets. And uh, when we talk about the evolution of the earth, the planet earth initially was a barren, rocky and hot object with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. This is by far from the present day atmosphere of the layered structure of the earth. When we talk about the evolution of the lithosphere, the earth was mostly in a volatile stage during its primordial stage and due to gradual increase in uh, density, the temperature inside has decreased. As a result, the material inside started getting separated depending on their densities. This allowed heavier materials uh, like iron to sink towards the center of the earth and the lighter ones to move on the surface of the earth. That is why we now see the differentiation of the earth in the form of CR layers towards the top and then Sima and Naife, the heavier metals towards the center. With the passage of time, it cooled further and solidified and condensed into smaller size. This led to the development of the outer surface in the form of the crust and later on these all spheres, the outer ones started to cool down and the interior ones are still hot and gaseous. During the formation of the moon due to the giant impact, the earth was further heated up. It is through the process of differentiation that the earth forming materials got separated into different layers, the crust, mantle, outer core and the inner core. And later on, we can also talk about the evolution of the atmosphere. And there are three stages in the evolution of the present atmosphere. In the first stage is marked by the loss of primordial atmosphere. The second stage, the hot interior of the earth contributed towards the evolution of the atmosphere. And finally, the composition of the atmosphere was modified by the living world through the process of photosynthesis. Overall, if we talk about earth and the atmosphere, it was not the same what we had in the initial stages of the earth when it was formed. Let us have a look at the geological time scale and that would make it more clear to us in terms of the earth's milestones with respect to time. 
The origin of the stars some 5000 million years uh, is the origin of the sun and the first life traces of life on land with respect to plants emerged some 408 to 438 million years ago. The frogs and turtles they are supposed to be having there before present 2008 to 245 million years ago and the extension of dinosaurs 65 to 144 million ago and the small mammals rats and mice some 57 to 65 million years ago before present 37 to 58 million rabbits and here and early human ancestors are supposed to be having their 2 to 5 million years before present and homo sapiens 10,000 to 2 million years uh, before present. Now this gives us a broad time scale on how we basically classify life with respect to the origin on the earth. Let me sum up what we all talked about today. We talked about different theories about the origin of the earth. The earliest theories were basically talking about the nebular hypothesis, earth being in the form of a nebula. Later on, and they were talking about the formation of the uh, earth as such, but later on uh, the scientists tried to address this problem as, uh, as, a, as a origin of universe rather than evolution of the earth itself. The star formation is uh, one of the important aspects when we consider the Big Bang Theory and there are three stages with respect to the formation of the Big Bang Theory. The formation of planets has also been uh, discussed that it happened in stages and uh, with respect to that we also talked about our solar system, the inner planets, the terrestrial planets and the Jovian planets. We also talked about the evolution of the earth, how the evolution of lithosphere took place and the evolution of atmosphere and hydrosphere took place. Mm -hmm.